Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about sarcoidosis. So what is sarcoidosis? Sarcoidosis is a multisystemic granulomatous disease of unknown cause. Uh, as it is a granulomatous disease of unknown cause, uh, to make its diagnosis always, the other granulomatous diseases like tuberculosis, granulomas due to very many fungal infections, these have to be ruled out. And it involves multiple systems, multiple systems such as your lungs, okay, then liver, spleen, then eyes, skin, these are involved in case of sarcoidosis. Now, sarcoidosis occurs in adult uh, mostly younger than 40 years of age, mostly between the age of 20 to 40 years and it is higher in the women. Now going to the morphology firstly, we'll, in this video we will discuss about the morphology, the organs which are involved in the sarcoidosis, the pathogenesis behind it. Okay, so morphology, the main morph uh, morphological characteristic as it suggests is a granulomatous disease, they are the granulomas. And now the granulomas, they are slightly different for, uh, from the granulomas which we see in tuberculosis. Okay, because tuberculosis is the most common granulomatous disease, especially in the developing nations. So, uh, uh, in this, it is non-necrotizing granulomas. Non-necrotizing, uh, there are epithelioid cells which are present. Okay, the epithelioid cells are formed from the macrophages. From the macrophages, the macrophages, they change into slipper-shaped cells which are known as the epithelioid cells. So, these epithelioid cells are present. There are giant cells present. But the central necrosis is absent in the case of sarcoidosis. Also, the granulomas of sarcoidosis, they don't have lymphocytes around them. There is a peripheral rim of lymphocytes which is very characteristically present in tuberculosis. However, here it is absent. There is less, uh, less lymphocytes which are present. So, the, these granulomas are also named as naked granulomas. Also, when the disease goes into chronic phase, then these uh, granulomas uh, are replaced by Highline fibrous scars because fibrosis is also growing uh, going on in the chronic phase uh, Now going to what are the other characteristics which are seen in the granulomas of the sarcoidosis One is the asteroid body now asteroid body is a steel age shaped body Okay, so here you can the picture you can see in the giant cell There is an inclusion which is present a star shaped inclusion This is known as the asteroid body and it is seen in sarcoidosis Second is the Schaumann body. Now, Schaumann body is again present in the giant cells, but it is concretion. Okay, it is a laminated concretion. You will see that like, it is a laminated basophilic concretion which is present. This is composed of your calcium and proteins and this is known as Schaumann body. This is again characteristic of your, S, uh, of your sarcoidosis. Now, the, going to the which organs are involved in case of sarcoidosis. So, if you take the lung is the most common uh, affected area okay then you you will have your ocular involvement also the skin involvement is very very characteristic of in the sarcoidosis firstly going to the lungs now in lungs if you see the characteristic which you will see is the presence of granulomas okay the granulomas will be seen now if if we see the grossly lung okay only when there is chronic disease when the granulomas are producing nodules then only you will see visibly any difference uh, in the lung grossly okay now going to the other things which are involved now lymph nodes are involved your tonsils are involved then in skin lesions skin lesions are very similar to that seen in sle also so it is like red red flat uh, erythematous patches which are present so it can be slightly elevated also or flat lesions can also be there and important thing is this cannot this is not only present on the skin this is also present on the mucous membrane of the your oral cavity the larynx or upper g upper respiratory tract then in case of your muscle involvement in case of muscle involvement there is myositis which is present so the myositis is also present so in myositis the patient will present uh, a, a complain of muscle weakness the symptom will be according to the organ which is involved then spleen and liver can be involved bone marrow can be involved in there there is areas of bone resorption which are present in the uh, bone marrow cavity very characteristic is the ocular involvement again in ocular involvement there is aritis or iridocyclitis this 
uh, is characteristic of the uh, sarcoidosis then corneal opacities glaucoma total loss of vision then there can be also suppression of the lacrimal glands uh, lacrimation can be suppressed the patient here will present with the uh, symptom of uh, dryness of the eyes so dryness of the eyes is again a symptom of your sarcoidosis because there is suppression of the lacrimation not only the lacrimation also the sal uh, the production of saliva is also decreased so sarcoidosis can also involve the parotid submaxillary gland and the sublingual glands also there is a syndrome which is known as the Mikulis syndrome now what is Mikulis syndrome when uvea and parotid both are involved so it is a uveoparotid involvement you have uveitis in that and also the parotid gland is also inflamed in this case uh, now going to the pathogenesis now clear what etiogenic agent uh, is behind the sarcoidosis is not uh, clear there is uh, thought that it is due to disordered immune regulation especially disordered cell mediated immunity cell mediated immunity uh, due to its dysregulation the uh, sarcoidosis uh, is there so cd4 cells are involved because you can see in these patients there is intra alveolar or interstitial accumulation of cd4 cells and there is also increased level of cytokines now these cytokines this leads to t cell activation they lead to macrophage activation okay macrophage activation further releases many cytokines which will further uh, change the macrophage into epithelioid cells and then formation of granulomas take place so this is also because of your uh, because of your cytokines then also in sarcoidosis there is impaired dendritic cell function genetic factors are also proposed okay because uh, like hla a1 and hla b8 they are associated with the sarcoidosis now going to a test which is done in the case of sarcoidosis this is not routinely done but it is uh, theoretically it is known the quims test quims test is an intradermal diagnostic test now here the antigen is prepared from the involved lymph node or spleen and this is injected intradermally so now if this intradermal injection is given and in the positive test you will see nodular lesion which is present three to seven weeks after the uh, after the injection okay so here if in the microscopic you will see there are many non caseating granulomas which are present in the case of sarcoidosis this is a chemist test is not routinely done M routinely the sarcoidosis is always a diagnosis of exclusion excluding other granulomatous diseases and then the symptoms to match so it is diagnosis such made the clinical features will depend upon which organ is involved as we discussed it can uh, just uh, be routine on routine chest x-rays you can see there is bilateral uh, hilar adenopathy lymphadenopathy is present then peripheral lymphadenopathy can be present patient can present with eye involvement skin involvement hepatomegaly splenomegaly which organs are involved according to that the symptoms will vary so the course of the disease course of the disease again is very unpredictable okay some patients mostly actually patients they are they recover after minimal or after some time they recover up uh, with minimal or no residual manifestations few patients only they go into serious uh, loss of lung function or permanent visual impairment and very few persons then further progress to the fibrosis or corpal manil majority of the patient they heal uh, completely without any residual manifestations okay so this was your all about the sarcoidosis you can ask any query in the comment box i would appreciate if you will uh, subscribe to this channel if you like these type of videos it will mean a lot thanks for watching this video